Today I'm going to share with you the incredible story of a World War II veteran who survived the concentration camps, was tortured, was humiliated by his captors, yet he was able to forgive them. And in this video today, I want to talk about how forgiveness will help you to transcend any situation from your past, no matter how hard it is. So we're going to get into it right now today on The Ascension Link. So the other day I was talking about forgiveness with my friend and how important it is to really be able to move past anything really. Not just forgive the other person, but forgive yourself. Because a lot of the times we also have a responsibility to own up to things that we otherwise you know, wouldn't have done if we didn't start with forgiveness first. And so I wanted to share with you an amazing story about a World War II veteran. His name is Louis Zamperini. Louis Zamperini was a concentration camp survivor. But even before that, he was an Olympic runner in the 1936 Olympic Berlin Games. He even got to shake Hitler's hand at one point at the games. Then years later, he joined the fight when the US entered World War II. Zamperini was on a mission where he had to look for a bomber that crashed in the ocean of the Pacific. The plane that they were using to go and look for the bomber had passed inspection that day. They had lost their first engine, and then that's when the plane went down. Louis Zamperini was able to survive this crash along with a few of his crew members. Now they were set out to sea on a life raft in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. No food, no water. They were severely sunburned and they couldn't go in the water at all because there were sharks constantly swimming around them because they were hungry. And eventually they were picked up by the Japanese. Zamperini was transferred to a concentration camp, but this concentration camp was in Japan. When he got there, 60 Australian POWs had already died. Zamperini was around 90 pounds. He was constantly being tortured and humiliated. He had to hold up a stick. He held that stick up for 37 minutes straight without dropping it. And if he dropped that stick, he would get beaten up severely and thrown into a hole where this hole had a metal door and they would close the door and leave him in that hole for days with no food, no water, nothing. After months of this, he was able to survive. He made it back to the US. He was a hero when Louis Zamperini went to Japan in 1998 to light the torch for the Olympic Games. He was welcomed as a hero. In the prison, there was this guy named the bird and even the guards thought of him as a psychopath because he enjoyed torturing and humiliating people, especially Zamperini. And so when Zamperini years later was able to meet most of his captors, there was just one guy missing and that was the bird. The bird had hidden himself for years and then ended up going back to Japan, selling life insurance, ironically, and becoming very wealthy. So when Zamperini heard that he was back, he went to go and visit him. But then the bird refused because he had felt so much shame for what he had done to Zamperini and the other prisoners. So Zamperini was able to forgive him for all the terrible things that was done to him, but the bird couldn't forgive himself for doing these things. So Zamperini was able to free himself from all of this and he was able to transcend, truly transcend this situation. So this is why I think this story is so incredible and so powerful. And I think of it every time, you know, I, I wanna forgive somebody or I need to forgive somebody really. And it just goes to show that no matter what happens to you, no matter what you go through, no matter where you are in life, you can always forgive. Forgiveness should be first, really, in order to be able to grow and to let go of things, feelings, thought forms that no longer serve you. If you want to manifest in, in this life and you want to be able to attract certain things, we can't be in that negative state from those things that we haven't moved past, that we haven't forgiven, haven't acknowledged yet. So if you want to be able to manifest to your best ability, you have to have forgiveness. 
And if you're interested in knowing more about manifestation techniques and practices, feel free to check out my video series, The Step-by-Step -Step Guide for Manifestation and the Law of Attraction. So there it is, guys. That is the story. That is the lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. So if you're wondering where I got these clips, they are from the movie based on his story called Unbroken. It's directed by Angelina Jolie. And if you have a movie about you and it's directed by Angelina Jolie, then you're kind of a big deal. But if you would like to watch the movie, check it out to see a dramatization of this amazing story where he is literally unbroken. Tap that like button and feel free to subscribe for more free content on mastery of the mind, the heart, the body, the soul, self-love, and also videos on personal and spiritual wellness. My name is Gabriel. This is the Ascension Link. Take care, live well, and live truly.